Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode 4 of our new Let's Play since the major update. If you didn't catch episode 1, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner. Highly suggest starting from the beginning. I think uh, episode 1 is pretty awesome and provides a lot of new players some great tutorials. Uh, one thing, just noting, I did figure out how to move my fleet from Newport to New Haven. You can't click anywhere around here in the bay. You have to click basically right at New Haven and then your fleet will move that way. So the reason we want to do that is Newport does not have great construction points, whereas New Haven has amazing construction points. So our fleet will do a lot. Uh, it, it'll repair a lot faster than it would if it sat in Newport. A couple things to note. I do now have Benedict Arnold. I fast tracked him with Army Innovation 2. I used I think I needed 20 reputation. So Benedict Arnold is now on the map, and I'm going to move him over to Providence, and he's going to um, keep an eye out on the on the British on that flank. Let's give him a perk. I like Command Radius. Uh, Command Radius is a good one. We are recruiting up some more soldiers, and this is so I can have some men on this front. And you guys probably need a, a little bit more before you go off over there. So Benedict Arnold, he will be able to keep an eye out on these redcoats over here because that was one of my problems. I was very afraid of that. Last episode, we did take Fort Frederick. And I've done... Hmm, I don't know exactly what I've done per se since the last episode. I don't do a lot. Um, one unit of ammunition and one unit of provision was destroyed in Providence. So that's British sabotage attempts. Uh, you can reduce sabotage attempts by... Uh, how do you guys... Can you not join the port? Are they anchored? That means they're anchored, right? I hope that means they're anchored. <laughs> I'm really hoping so. Uh, yeah, I think so, because that, they're repairing down there. I, I have a little bit of a goldfish brain right now. So what I, what I was saying was, I was doing a couple things between episodes, just kind of tidying things up. Um placing new structures down here and there and then making sure that our production is good so we are producing a bunch of wagons over here we are producing a supply company so they can go and be with quicksilver's army over here and then i think we could probably go take hubbardton i was waiting for their condition to to replenish a little so let's leave garrison let's have quicksilver Move across. Let's have some of you form a brigade. Oh, we can't cross over there. Oh, okay. That's that's interesting. Yeah, the map has to open up and you can go up. Um, so not the not the greatest situation to be in. All right. So you guys, I want you guys to go all the way up to Fort Frederick. You guys can go down here, and Quicksilver. You're in a good spot over there. Alright, you guys are good to head on out. So you go to Hatfield over here. We still need more wagons. I don't actually know how many wagons the wagon supply company had. We had 20 in storage. So maybe it's 10 per... Or I actually have no idea whatsoever. The British are just decimating our merchant ships over here. And Daring moved out. So I wonder wonder where he is going to move to. This is something I need to pay attention to, um, which is nice having the second commander. As far as other things, we have the U.S. muskets that we are trying to learn. Um, support training. What is support training? Is just going down this tree. Um, the Quartermaster Chief, his tree is a little lackluster at the moment for me. I think Horse Pasture is eventually something we will go for. But... Uh, Feeling pretty good. One thing to note, you don't really want to steamroll too hard as you're at the very beginning of the campaign. Otherwise, the British will receive a lot of reinforcements. There's been a lot of discussions on the Discord lately about how how the British invasions work. And it's kind of like a check system where the, the British check how many reg total regiments they have on the battlefield. This is coming from the Discord, so I don't know... If it's 100% accurate, but it is coming from people that uh, like work for or with the developers. They're not devs themselves, but 
people that work very, very hand in hand with them, meaning Panda Kral and then some of the alpha testers like William Fell and trying to think of a couple others off the top of my head of things like Colonel Kelly, guys like them that know a lot more about the code and have, uh, I know Panda Kral has access to the code, so he's technically part of the team. I don't know how much part of the team he is, but he's He's very good at this stuff. He's one of the creators of the JMP mod. He's the P in JMP. He is Panda Kraut. He's awesome. I always like to shout him out when I can because he he makes a lot of a lot of things possible. Saves a lot of hair pulling. So we're going to take Hobbiton for sure. These guys are probably very tired um, going across here. We'll we'll just move them uh, move them over here. Okay, what is this? We lost Fort Frederick. That is ridiculous. Oh, God. Okay, so we have to go take Fort Frederick back. How do you lose an entire fort? I, I don't. I, I've said this to the to the devs a few times. I don't like just losing something. I I feel like the sabotage missions. There's there's certain sabotage missions that work. And there's other sabotage missions that don't work whatsoever. And the ones where you just straight up lose something, they don't work. At least to me, they don't work. So we need we need you guys to retake Fort Frederick. This is a thorn in my side. I, I feel like you should only lose a town because of loyalty. And Fort Frederick didn't have loyalty problems. So we're going to go attack this, see if we can do it. Um, we get some stuff. So that, that is, that is something I, I would prefer that they changed quite a bit. Um, this just looks like militia, so that's great. Um, so it's not too big of a loss, I guess. It's just really annoying. Um, that could have been a lot worse. But, uh, yeah, so it's just militia. That's, that's perfect. We have cannons. We just, we don't have any, what do you call it? We don't have any condition, which is a problem. So let's move this cannon up over here. Move you guys up. Our condition is going to be absolutely terrible. Why is Quicksilver... Is that his health? Deaths, 13. Why is he... What has he taken deaths from? Has he actually taken... That, that's interesting. I don't know. Some Sometimes I, I don't know what's happening in the game. And I, I think that's just a factor of the game's not completed yet. It needs uh, a lot of optimization, needs localization. And I mention this often in the Discord, just more transparency would go a really long way. And what I mean by transparency is just like, why exactly something happens? I think that is very important for a game like this. I, I would like them to shoot my... Uh, what do you call it? Militia over the cannons. So let's just push them here. I don't think their militia can shoot yet. We're exhausted. I, I eventually want these guys to get within grape shot range of the enemy because that will do, deal the most amount of damage, of course. But yeah, so I was saying like one, one of my problems is just transparency in the game. Like how many officers does a regiment actually need? It doesn't necessarily tell you that all over the place. Um, yeah. Actually, I don't think it really tells you anywhere. You really have to dig hard to figure out a lot of things. Okay, so they're going to start moving up. You guys can move up over here. I want the cannons forward so they actually fire a canister. Quicksilver, your morale bonuses are needed over here. You guys can hold. Holding gives you, I think it's something around like a 15% cover. Yeah, you can see they have 15% cover, even though they are out in the open. Um, great, a lieutenant was wounded. We're not doing very well with our lieutenants lately. Let's get these guys moving on up. And we just need to try and force the British out of this fort. Um, hopefully we can capture and kill all of them too, because we don't need them just like waltzing about our northern border. That would be really bad. So let's, let's move you guys up too. They're already in range of them, so just they'll have to deal with it. And actually, we probably need you guys to move forward. 
Uh, musket range. There we go. That's what I want. I want the the grape shot. You can see that deals a lot of damage to them. Phenomenal. Okay, hold. Everybody gets some cover. And then this unit should break fairly easily because of the amount of damage we're doing. So that that's at least the theory. Oh, I was going to talk. Um, OBS reset all of my audio settings, so it might take me a couple episodes to completely reset or refigure out my audio because I, I do like my audio to be fairly crisp. Um, I was noticing in a couple previous videos I could really hear my keyboard clicking way too often and that prompted me to look into it and that's when I realized my audio settings were foobar. So if you guys have any, if you notice anything weird about my audio, um, that's because I'm, I'm messing around with it. And let me know if you like the audio or if it needs to be changed some more. Just uh, any feedback in that department would be great. Um, so we, we broke the first unit. They're not shattered yet, but if we can keep moving up, keep pushing them out of here. Thankfully, we are facing militia now. I wonder if the British militia have brown vessels that would make them pretty darn good. But, okay, let's go back onto holding. Quicksilver, you're doing this. Might need to speed this up because this is not exactly the most exciting fight, to be honest. But we will... We will push forward nonetheless. Alright, can you... Can you get up here? Oh, they're not... Oh, shoot. Okay, now they're... Now they're routing. And let's move you guys into here, and up, and then around as the British return. Okay, so you guys can... can you hold? I don't know if you will hold, but you're trying your hardest, and that's all that matters, right? Is that you try your hardest? I think that's the, the current way of life, is as long as you try, people give you a a medal, or a button, or a ribbon. Oh, they surrendered. Perfect. That's another group I don't have to worry about. Can you go up here and fire? That would be fantastic. So let's try and get you guys to go out. If we can capture those guys, that would be great. Our condition is absolutely terrible. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Um, we have secured ground for underscore 01 objective point. That's obviously just a placeholder for the time being. Get some parting shots and then we'll go back to the global map. So we do need to chase these guys down and crush them because we can't have a bunch of dudes causing issues in our in our northern border. And this is this is problematic. Um having Fort Tyke or not Fort Ticonderoga. Fort Frederick lose like that is really problematic. Yeah, this is... Okay, come on, come on. Pot, make them surrender. No, 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 no. Make them surrender. Come on, come on, come on. Such an obnoxious concept. See, like, I have... I have no... I don't know what you want to call it. I, I have no... Disband a brigade. You guys need to go down over here. Quicksilver over here. They can they can move so fast. I have no condition. If you saw, my guys were moving super duper slow. And their guys are moving insanely fast. So that's that's a problem in the grand scheme of things. So we'll just have Weber come down this way. You guys need to all join up on a brigade. And then we'll just have Quicksilver, try and try and cause an engagement here. Hopefully they don't take Fort Saratoga. That would be really obnoxious. Why are you guys moving? No, no, I didn't tell you guys to move. What just happened there? Okay, come on. There should be a skirmish coming up soon. I have no condition and that's it's really showing. Can we just charge? Is that going to do it. I, I need these guys to disappear and go away. 
Okay, a little bit annoying. We we did cause them to route. They're going somewhere. Nobody knows where they're going. Um, so I'll probably just place uh, Weber in Bennington for the time being. And then this unit is just losing tons of men because I got distracted by that Fort Frederick thing. So I think what I was saying earlier about the sabotage events, you can mitigate sabotage events with your with your intelligence agency, but it's really, really expensive and it's not 100%. So I would really like them to, to make sure that sabotage events make sense. Um, I guess that's the best way to put it. Project Intelligence Agency finished. That was uh, from a long time ago. I wish those cleared a little bit better, but that's fine. Um, do we have enough wagons over here yet? No, nobody ever knows how many wagons it takes. Um, but like sabotage events to me should be like the enemy causes casualties, supply line issues, things like that. Um, an entire town changing sides. I know it's technically historically accurate with Fort Ticonderoga and Benedict Arnold. It's just not fun gameplay. At least I that's how I feel. I don't I don't feel it's fun gameplay. Um I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's uh fun when a fort that you just captured suddenly um you know <laughs> changes side and you have to go rush your force over there to take care of it again is that do you guys enjoy that i i'm genuinely curious in that situation anyways here's a battle for hubbardton this is a battle we need uh we are a little banged up which i didn't think we were that banged up but it's probably all the attrition I took for having my men sit in the field and uh, while I went and took care of Fort Frederick. Doesn't look like this is a natural fort battle. They've sallied out to come and engage us. I'm going to pause at the very beginning because the camera angle is always wrong and I need to get my army situated. Okay, not exactly sure what I'm going to do here. Uh, I have a bunch of units that are pretty beat up, so I'm combining a bunch of these units too. And I just remembered that you know part of my militia is not in this engagement so i have to remember that i don't have those skirmishers from the second militia regiment so those are things to keep into consideration here basically i, I think my plan is we're putting artillery in these trees and these trees actually might be better if those guys sat over here here comes the british so that's place you guys over here maybe and then you guys could go maybe over here um quicksilver you're needed over here go in the middle let's see you're a really beefy brigade units get really long when you combine them i don't know how i feel about that it's like it, it makes sense but at the same time it's uh very detrimental so here we go we should have some nice cannon fire going i don't know where the enemy's cannons are i know they did make a change to the ai where the enemy cannons should be moving forward but i don't know if they always do do that um actually nope there they are there's their cannons moving forward so that's that's good you you want to see them moving a little bit more optimally than than they used to move let's have these skirmishers go out over here yeah because i figured there's something over there because the british took that objective it's kind of it's pretty cool to see the British taking objectives. I really like that. We already broke somebody, so that's also cool. Let's just have you guys move over here. Um, go out on that flank. That'll be great. And then if you guys can move up, and then have you guys go around that way, that'll be great. And then really, if this cannon. These cannons can move like so. That'll be fantastic. You guys move up. Over here, it's looking decent. Especially after that shot right there. Quicksilver, make sure you are helping out people. Uh, you guys need a hold and hold. And that helps with your cover. Okay, so need you guys to get around. We secured the mine. Great. I, I know in the future they said the objectives will matter a little bit more, so that'll be nice when we see something like that happens. Um, so they move their artillery forward. Uh, they have a th uh, two-star unit there. I don't know... I don't see any grenadiers. There's some skirmishers there. 
So not seeing Grenadiers is good. That means no super buff melee units. That unit's taking a little bit too much of a beating over here. We're doing okay, except for the enemy is moving up artillery over there. So that's always a problem. Uh, you guys probably need to go on hold. Also, you guys should probably go on hold. Um, you guys will probably need to take over their spot over here. And over here, I think we are fine. That is militia, so it's not the, the best situation by any stretch of the imagination. But over here, they're moving towards some properly formed formed line troops, and I, I think that's going to go pretty well. Okay, those guys broke. I thought they might eventually. We do need to take care of those cannons sooner than later, and I think now is probably the point where we can. Probably need this 162 strong over here. This 62 strong, you can go sit in the center. Silver, you're probably needed over here. And what we'll need to do is try and get some shots off on their, on their artillery. So those guys doing fine over here doing fine and I feel like you should target there I don't have any militia over here militia is what I would really like to move forward and attack um, attack their guys can we charge those guys because that would be fantastic if we can we can charge their militia while we shoot their artillery okay I did tell you guys you guys are blocked okay um I did tell you guys to attack over there. And I wonder if you guys can shoot them. If we can have multiple units shooting shooting their artillery, the better. It looks like we're actually losing that engagement. Their skirmishers seem to be pretty good in melee. Holy cow. That is really good in melee. Can we get Quicksilver over there? You two probably need to combine you should come around this way oh no okay can you guys charge that artillery that's probably what needs to happen at this point okay so we probably need to move this artillery forward move you guys forward move you guys up too and we need you guys to rally and then you'll combine um, that artillery that worked over there doesn't always work. Okay, let's push these guns forward. They want to crisscross, whatever. Come on, move forward. There we go. Have you guys move up, and then have you guys move up, and that'll be pretty good. Where are you guys at? Move you guys over here. Um, you guys need to combine Quicksilver. Oh, no, no, no. They're continuing to charge. Shoot. Stop, 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 stop. Not what I wanted. Um, I didn't want you guys charging across the battlefield, but that's what I get for not paying attention over here. Come on, guys. Combine, please. And then, oh, we got into melee right there. No, 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 no. I don't want to continuously be in melee over here. This over here is a little bad. I need I need our troops to pull back now. They did their job. Uh, they're getting rear flanked. I should have guessed that. Yeah, that was um that was bad on that front. Okay. So this this battle has a ways to go and they're doing a great job of punishing punishing our aggressiveness over there. Come on guys. Keep keep retreating. Please, please retreat out of here. They're going to take some nasty shot. Um, as far as that cannon, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do about it. We are losing a lot of our skirmishers. Let's build up this line a little bit more. And then over here, we'll just reform the line. That'll be great. If you guys will come back, um, you'll merge and then you'll take the flank over here.
feels like things are, I mean, they're like, okay, but not great. And this just shows we need, we really need to um, upgrade our guns. At least that's what it shows to me. Okay, artillery over here is doing well. Really need to clear out of that artillery, and I'm not sure how I want to go about it. I feel like these two could charge, and they just fired, so I feel like I feel like the charge will work. Um, Philip daring surrender. Okay, that's so yeah. They they need to change that flag. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. This is bad on this flank. Very bad on this flank. Okay, that artillery doing well. Those skirmishers. We had a wound somewhere. Come on. Regroup, regroup, regroup. Over here, we captured them. That is perfect. And then if we can if we can get that flank under control, that'll be great. And then there's there's a mass route on their part. So, perfect. And then they surrendered. And then I wonder, we don't really have the speed to catch up to anybody, but we can certainly certainly try. That was costly, um, but they were fairly even armies, except the enemy had way better, way better guns than us. I don't think we'll catch up to them, so let's just go back to the global map. Um, I guess it wasn't as costly as I thought. We dealt a lot more damage than they did. We outnumbered them, but as I said, they're, they have higher quality uh, equipment than we do by by far. We, we're, we're still on civilian muskets. Um, actually, some of our guys have brown vests, now I think about it. I did up, equip some of our fuselers with brown vests, but it's not it's nothing to write home about for sure. Okay, that's perfect. We need that surrender. Let's get you guys over here. There's Nesham, the, the 74 guys that were proving annoying to us and then taking Hubbardton will secure New York for us I believe and that allows us to do I, I don't know what it's called I call it an edict because that's what it is in total war it is called a provincial edict I wonder if we could uh, grab Nesham we don't have much condition uh they just they just retreated why can't we the supplies are right there and I can never tell if I'm capturing the supplies. It looks like we're capturing the supplies. Oh, and as a note, your your commander can capture supplies. I don't know if you guys know that. So here's a here's an important thing. I don't think Hubbardton is part of the supply network. It is not. So I really need to take Fort Rice. I maybe I should have taken Fort Rice first. But that being said, I do have these guys down here. These guys, though, are better. I would like... Okay, let's have you guys move out. And I say better because they have skirmishers. So let's have Turner. Let's have them swap spots. So we have uh, Fort Frederick over here. That's doing fine. How are we doing money-wise? That's all looking well. How's our fleet? It's still repairing. I think we need wood. I think wood is the problem. Does anybody have wood? That is a euphemism. Not enough wagons. Still don't have enough wagons. We are definitely trying to build up our wagon. Where's our production? Trying to build a bunch of wagons. Hopefully that will be the last wagon needed for them. Um, supply wagon companies are really important in the grand scheme of things. So over here, um, yeah, I wonder... I wonder what's over at Fort Rice. I could go take a quick peek at it. Um, and I can always bring up a militia over there. How's that? Yeah, they, they're still recovering. So one thing, I really want USS Lizard because it has 300 men. So it's a lot better at capturing English ships than the 30-gun ship, which only has 210 men. So it's pretty cool having, having that ship with as many men as it does over there oh and the map opened up i didn't realize the map opened up so that's important so fort frederick is now our our northern frontier um all of this we, we start getting into canada over here and what is this they need the following things 
I mean, that's that's a lot of things that the Iroquois want. I mean, we're we're not going to do that. Okay, so cap if we capture Quebec, we get all of this, which is pretty awesome. There's no negative for not capturing it, which is nice. And then capture Montreal, we get all of that. And you have over a year to capture it. I would say when you look at Canada, um, there's a lot of useless territory in Canada. This side of Canada is good. This side of Canada is terrible. Like Wellamanisuk, which I can never pronounce. And this one up here, like there's no population up there. They're they're not good. Oh, and we have Castine. That's so stupid. Um, we're going to give up Castine. Sorry, but there's no point in trying to keep that. So Canada has opened up and um there's Fort Rice. We probably need to go take Fort Rice uh early. So we could bring up we could bring like all of these guys, now I think about it, over here and go attack Fort Rice. That's probably the the good plan. And then we'll leave Hubbardton open for a moment. Man. Yeah. If we bring these these guys up to Fort Rice, that'll be good. Because then what we can do is we can Fort Rice is part of supply chain. We can keep our army more along the lines of Fort Rice. We can put a unit up at Hubbardton, put another unit up at Fort Frederick. That should help out a ton. And then um, we should be in a good position after that. So you guys really aren't going to get anywhere. So that's this join brigade. That's going to open up. Um, hopefully the enemy doesn't capture it. You guys need to join brigade. And we're just going to go and take Fort Rice. That is the plan of attack here. And really that just opens up our supply line, opens up everything. Boston is still over there. Okay, I would like to see what this ship is. So let's take our fleet, which is now ready. And let's search for enemy ships and see what we have here. Should be an engagement. Come on, why is there not an engagement? It is a tw uh, HMS success. Okay, I don't care about that. We'll just farm some rep there. That'll be the, the plan there. So Weber, can you guys move up? Quicksilver, get into a position where you can um, help out with that combat over there. And then where else? Yeah, so we're just going to see if we can farm some rep. So we have 36 reputation at the moment. Oh, no, no, don't let Quicksilver get shot. That'd be terrible. It's weird how if a unit comes out of the town that things seem to break. I, I don't like that. That'll be something I'll, I'll create a thread for in the Discord. Thankfully in the Discord they're, they're really good. Yeah, it's continuing a lot now. Um, what can we do here? I would like my other group to to move up and be part of this battle that would be great if that could happen so let's see they're not oh it's two battles oh okay oh no no it it's merged into one i like that i like that okay let's do and they're going to route immediately which is interesting i don't know if they'll route immediately but they have a very high likelihood of routing because of that flashing white symbol there okay i imagine our reinforcements are coming from probably this location over here i'm not entirely sure but we're we're going to start moving up now we have some really really battered units so i was just combining units to start um we've probably that 64 should probably merge with these guys now I think about it. So let's do that. Have them merge. Um, I'm not sure if merging is always the best plan of action, but it's going to be our plan of action here. We are moving up our artillery, and I could probably speed things up a little bit. The enemy's artillery is retreating, which makes a lot of sense. So we, we probably have... A nice safety safety zone over here and we could probably move 
this artillery up to this tree line and it would be safe and then you guys could move up over here and you guys could probably move up to this tree line and be safe and then all of these guys over here and just keep on keep on moving up now as i said i don't know where our reinforcements are coming on they haven't come on yet i think this army should be able to take on whatever the port army is there's a reinforcement it's coming from the complete opposite side which that's that's fine actually that's pretty good because i like to surround forts so that'll that'll work out perfectly fine and uh, just need them to get onto the battlefield and there's the fort so do something like that as they as they move on i don't know if that's everybody kind of looks like that's everybody but we'll just kind of kind of get this rolling over here let's have you guys move out over here you guys can sit over here and then we need to basically slowly move our forces up into this tree line get our artillery in position because firing round shot is not really what we what we want um you guys will be in the center you guys will be on the flank over here you're a little outnumbered though i do need to keep that in mind for that flank and then do something like that these guys are still moving out i think that's everybody though which is good um i wish i could zoom out just a little bit more so i could properly yeah, let's, let's have them move up like so. Okay. And then you guys can go over here. They'll have line of sight because other people have line of sight. The guns themselves won't because of the trees. But there's a way to kind of be like a spotter, basically. As long as some of your units can see the enemy, all of your units can see the enemy. I don't know if that's, you know, a mechanic I necessarily like because you didn't have spotters in the uh, in this time frame at least i don't oh no 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 that needs to not happen is their artillery seriously in grape shot range of our artillery that's that's devastating if it is what are you no 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 no, no. just sit here and sit here oh man i can't believe that feature is in this game now where they they do that i okay that's our great shot volleys you'll love to see that um somebody surrendered but then they like came back immediately by the looks of it somebody was killed on our end that's not good okay there's the surrender guy um okay let's move you guys forward just a little move you guys forward just a little move you guys out here just a little and then hopefully we can really start taking it to this fort Okay, keep moving up, keep moving up. Yeah, over there, those are some big guns, whatever the heck they have over there. They're causing a lot of damage to us. It's, they're pretty scary. But, oh man. What is, what is hitting these guys? And they're routing, so we probably just lost... Hopefully they can come back. Hmm. Cannons are definitely a lot more squishy than they used to be, which is a good and bad thing. I think maybe they're a little too susceptible to to enemy to enemy shooting now. I, I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to definitely have to play around with it a lot more than I have now but i i like 
how susceptible they are to charges. I think that is good. And then obviously canister shot always does a nice amount of damage. Which is something you always want to see. Alright, perfect. We have pushed... Those Those must have been really big guns. Um, really big guns. Okay, and we're causing them to basically mass surrender at this point. So, let's continue pushing up. There's just those skirmishers over there. And then those guys over here. Let's grab all of our surrender crew. Alright, can we... And then you guys will probably need to stop firing in a moment. And then you guys could charge in. You guys need to stop firing, stop firing, stop firing. And then also stop firing. And then we'll we'll speed things up a little. Yeah, they surrendered perfect. And then should be a mass route incoming, hopefully. Uh, you guys don't need a fire, and there's the mass route, and we're not going to catch those guys, so that's perfectly fine. Somebody's still shooting. Uh, thankfully, we didn't lose those guns. We did recover them, so that's that's nice. Man, that um, that one artillery unit did some work. At least I thought it did. Uh, efficiency. Yeah, Christopher not. Was that us? There's the one, I think. Nathaniel? Nope, I don't know. Because the flags change when they get captured, so. Um, one of those cannons felt very, very nasty, very, very big. Um, definitely looked pretty, pretty crazy in that regard. So that should be for Rice. We had a bunch of surrenders. Actually, everybody surrendered, so that's perfect. Let's put Weber over here. And then we'll, we'll reinforce our northern border, like I said. Um, I'm assuming we've we've dealt a large blow to the to the British in this campaign, so I would assume that the British will will hit us hard soon. So let's have you join the the garrison. You need to go up to Fort Frederick and be a um, a helper over there, Hubbardton. I need another another militia. You guys still need wagons. That is crazy. Okay, let's grab. You look terrible, so you'll be militia garrison. Do I have enough guns over here? I do. Perfect. Quicksilver, come back over here. I need you guys to go down to Hatfield to replenish. And then, who are you? Turner, you're going that way. These guys are really beat up. So that's going to work. Did we sink them? 30, 37? I don't know. Um, doesn't look like we took many casualties. So they'll just patrol around here. Uh, eventually they'll go out here. That is about time for today's episode. So basically what we'll do is we'll secure our northern border. So we'll put two regiments in uh, Fort Frederick. I think that'll work for militia. We'll put one in Harberton. Hopefully that'll be enough. I, I would like, and then we kind of, we're kind of keeping our army together. I might um, yes, we must accept these gifts. Yeah. Morgan's rifle project available in headquarters. This one's an interesting one. You can earn a new regiment. They, I'm not sure how this will work either. So. It says two companies of riflemen, but in their patch notes, uh, only skirmishers can have rifles. So I'm not sure how Morgan's riflemen will look. Either way, I like my line troops to have something with a bayonet so they would have U.S. muskets anyways, and I'll change it out. Um, it's, you know, it's cool. It gives you like a new commander, some new guys. I don't think these are the best things to spend your time on, but if you have, if you have the availability, why not? So this, um, trying trying to think how I want to move my forces. I would like these guys to go down here and join Benedict Arnold, and then have maybe like these guys leave the garrison. So now let's have let's have Weber. Your goal is to eventually move down to Providence, and then these guys can move up to Fort Rice. And so we're just gonna do a little swap. Hopefully that doesn't provoke an attack by 
of Boston. And then Hartford, um, where where was I going to do, what was I going to do there? But actually, I don't know if I really need this army at Hartford. I'm kind of liking how this army looks. It's got some, some guys there. Uh, Commander of HMS Rose plundered Rhode Island. Um, okay, that's a historical event, I believe. So that's a pretty cool pop-up right there. But as I said, that's about it for today's episode. So in the next episode, we'll consolidate our forces, um, secure our northern border, and then figure out what we want to do. It's August 7th of 1775. Really need to build up our infrastructure. We have tons of materials, so that's looking good. Um, but that is it for today. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. I really appreciate all of your guys' comments and likes. Really keeps uh, the videos... Um, really keeps me motivated, I, sh I should say. And it really pushes the videos out there. So I greatly appreciate all the support you guys give me. I absolutely love reading all of your comments, especially the historical ones. You guys are a treasure trove of knowledge. So that is it for today. As always, guys, until next time. <laughs>